Well, there's no denying a mind-body connection, like the classic expression, trust your gut. Well, that's one that we use often, but don't always take literally. But what do you do when your gut persistently causes discomfort? Gastroenterologist Dr. Raj is here to explain what's normal and what's a sign of something more serious. Good morning, Dr. Raj, thanks for joining us. Why is it so important for us to trust our gut literally? Well, our gut can really tell us a lot about what's going on in our entire body. And anyone who's experienced butterflies in their stomach, for example, knows that there's very a very clear connection between our mind and our gut, and that's where we experience stress, anxiety, even excitement. But if you're noticing persistent symptoms in your gut, this could be a sign of a serious underlying issue. And you do need to listen to your gut, trust it, and go get some help for those issues. Sometimes it's hard to trust your gut, you know, because it's like such a small issue maybe. So what are some symptoms that we can look out right. for when it comes to our stomach and our gut? Well, it's true. Like you said, we all from time to time will experience some small issues with our digestive health. If maybe we eat something that's a little off, we'll feel unwell the rest of the day or even the next day. But if you're experiencing symptoms that are persistent, so things like bloating or diarrhea, abdominal pain, things that are happening more often and they're affecting your ability to live your daily life, this is definitely a reason to go see a doctor and get a diagnosis because it can be confusing. You know, many of these digestive symptoms are common to a lot of conditions things like irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's disease, but it could be something that people don't know much about, a condition called EPI. Gotcha, and I was just gonna ask that, something that a lot of people don't know what it is, EPI, what are some of those symptoms? Right. Right, so EPI stands for exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. And this is a condition where your pancreas is not producing enough enzymes that help digest your food and break it down into the nutrients that you need. So some of the symptoms of EPI are things like bloating, abdominal pain, diarrhea, unexplained weight loss. Also, because you're particularly not digesting fat very well, you might actually notice fat droplets when you're going to the bathroom with the bowel movement. The bowel movement might float on top of the water. So these these are symptoms specific to EPI that you really want to talk to your doctor about because you want to get the right diagnosis and the right treatment. Interesting. So where can our viewers get some more information? What resources should they go use? Well, to learn more about EPI, you can go to identifyepi.com. It's a great website with a lot of resources, including a symptom checker, so you can go through what you're experiencing and, and see if it reflects this condition. And also, there's a list of questions you can take with you to your doctor. You can print out some of those symptoms. So a lot of really useful information there. Dr. Raj, thank you so much for joining us. And if you missed this or want to watch it again to get more information, just head over to our website, firstcoastliving.net.